Click over to the theallnewgaltime.com to enter to win a $100 American Express Simon gift card from Simon Malls and Simon Fashion Now. Ho, 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 in our gal time, the season <laughs> for holiday dinner parties. And if you have youngins, it could be a little nerve-wracking. And in gal time, we're talking about making sure the kids behave at someone else's party. Now, I'm not a mom. I've said that before, but I know that you are. Have you come across this problem? Yeah, I mean, if you, I think the biggest thing is to let them know exactly what to expect. And if you lay it out for them, and if you lay out how you expect them to act, and if you lay out the layout that will happen if they act a fool, uh -huh. then you don't have any problems. Now, sometimes they might try to trip you up and test you, but then you got to lay the smack down. And however you do that is up to you. Well, that's kind of sort of our first <laughs> tip here at Gal Time. They are saying... Uh, to set the stage, let them know how the night will go and how you expect them to behave. Kind of what you just said. This is a big one. Feed them beforehand. It's They act like they are starving to death, it seems like, when they get around <laughs> other people and try to embarrass you and be like, ah, I'm so hungry. So feed the little ones beforehand, and that'll help curb, you know, those picky eaters and a lot of the tantrums, of course, if dinner is served late at the party. They're also saying, no one enough is enough. Don't be afraid to pull them aside at dinner to lay down the law, like you just said. You know, you know what I mean? Straight. You do, you get one of those. Don't make me have to take you in that bathroom and reach a little behind, because you know I ain't playing. You better not embarrass me <laughs> up in here tonight. OK, Girl. thank you very much. You know, when your mom starts talking to you and she ain't moving her lips, you see, yeah. You get to you I'll be afraid how to do that. of you. Or how about the parents that are three? Huh? Two? The ones that oh, count? count? That always cracks me up. Yeah. Well, the problem with doing it the way you do it there, uh, Kia, is that your child looks at you and says, Mom, why do you have TMJ? <laughs> you can't open your mouth? Trust oh. me, my little ones know. When Mama started talking to her, listeners <laughs> ain't <laughs> Can I say something here? I, well, you know, your guests also need to respect your rules, such as, you well, know, let's say something like number one, as far as the manners that you have, like if your kids are saying, yes, man, no, man, don't call me that. I, I, that makes me more mad than you and I believe. And second thing is, is let's... As an example, you know, they have candy or something like that, and you say, hey, don't give my kids anything. you got to respect that as well. Yeah, don't you know what I'm saying? the animal or the kids. The, exactly. But here's the question now. Should parents even bring their kids to holiday parties? I think if it's a holiday no. party that includes kids, absolutely. But if it strictly says no kids will be there, don't even bring them. Also, when you bring the kids, bring a couple of toys to keep them occupied. Change the diapers away from the party guests. <laughs> and don't overstay. If your kids start cutting up leave, and don't talk about the kids the whole time. That's, yeah. that's a big one. Hey, Good we're point. continuing the discussion on galtime.com right now. Next hour, we've got an etiquette expert in the house to help you get the kiddos under control.